Okay, here's this small quadcopter. It's a ducted quadcopter. It's a smaller sized vehicle. And let's analyze it. It's working on 2.4 gigahertz. It has this so-called eversion function, 360 degrees, so it should do flips. It has lights, so you can use it at night. Six axes, up, down, left, right, forward, backward. It has headless mode, so it doesn't matter which one is the front and which one is the back, which one is left or right. You just press it forward and it will go away from the transmitter. You press it backwards and it should come towards the transmitter okay so there's a headless mode return to home you push a button and it should come towards you and it has two speeds a higher speed and a lower speed lower speed is good for indoor flying and higher speed if you want to try you can try it outside but in general smaller size quadcopters should be used more indoors because the wind can blow them away Okay, so it has a return to home feature. It's not recommended under 14 years of age. Blade guards for safer flights, that is very good. So the blade is enclosed in this uh, black plastic. And if you hit something with the propeller, then it should bounce away and it should not cut that surface, whether that is a piece of wood or your flesh. So it's much safer and it's good for the propellers also because they won't fly off. Okay, so this is a blue one. You should not use the drone under wet conditions. Don't fly near planes. And that's the small drone. Let's take it away. You have here the USB charger for the internal battery. So this is the battery that should be charged from a USB port of a computer, let's say. You have four replacement propellers, if you break these. And you have the radio. Let's see the radio. It needs two AA batteries, 1.5 volts, AA. So these are real buttons. That's the power button, on and off. These are some of them for trimming, corrections, raising the quadcopter up in the air and coming down, yawing left and yawing right, pitch forward, pitch backward, roll left and roll right. Okay, so it's a pretty small drone. Let's measure the size. It's around 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters in both directions. Okay, the height around 3 centimeters. Okay, so these are brushed motors. These are less powerful. Okay, that's the battery. Let's remove it. That's the charge cable. Let's pull out the battery. 150 milliamp battery, one cell, 3.7 volts, and it's rated 30C. That's the discharge rate. The higher that C number, the more power can be pulled out from it at once. So these are the replacement propellers. And this is the charger for the battery. Two connections there. Yes, there's a line in the middle. Nothing turns on in the charger yet. Okay, so let's remove it. Let's try it. You can see the internal parts of this small quad. So push in this battery. And there's this thing in the middle. This should be the front, the blue, and red should be the black maybe. Okay, so let's introduce some batteries here. Let's see. I didn't read the manual yet, but it's working. Oopsie, one propeller is not working, so this one is slightly deformed. Okay, now it's spinning. It's not easy to fly close to the ground. So that's very nice as you can see, since it has a protection, these ducts, if it hits something, there's no problem. 
Okay, let's see some yaw. As you can see, there's no problem if the propellers are hitting something. Okay, now let's try the charger itself. Connect it to the computer's USB port. There's a small LED. Unplug it from the quadcopter itself. And the LED went out. Maybe it's charged. Okay, so now it's blinking. I used it a little bit. Now it's discharged. It's not getting off the ground. Although the propellers have these ducts, they're protected. Somehow I managed to bend that propeller. By the way, these propellers are at a quite large angle, around 45 degrees. Okay, so let's disconnect it. Okay, so it goes out when it's charging. So I guess that's the way that this charges. Don't forget to turn off this one. And it has a manual. The manual it's in English. Okay, so let's analyze the manual a little bit. So it says these are the included parts. Is the quadcopter that's here, the transmitter and that's there. The instruction manual is this one. The USB charging wire that's here. Blade A B twice. The blades are here. Two propellers, two blades are spinning to the left and two of them are spinning to the right so they are not the same so these two are spinning to the right because they should push down the air and these two are spinning to the left in order to push down the air and the battery which is here now let's take a look at the transmitter the top left one it says multifunction button is this one this one it says trimming start this one is doing the flips so you have to push down this one and then do a direction so hold it down and push the right stick in any direction and it will do a flip okay that's the on off button off and on this button the top one it says a, a key to return one key return so if you push that button the quadcopter should come back towards the transmitter towards you the lower part it says carefree mode so that has to be the headless mode when it doesn't matter which one is the front and which one is the back which one is left or right in headless mode if you push it to the right then it always should be going to the right Forward and back fine tuning is this one in the middle. So those are the trim buttons for making this movement. So if the quadcopter is constantly going to the forward by itself, then you should push down the down arrow and it should come towards you a little bit. If it's constantly going to the right, then you should press the left arrow and make it come to the left a little bit and in this way you can center the quadcopter and make it hover in one position so these are the trim buttons and now let's see the installation of the battery this is the back push it down and you have to insert two double a batteries so these are double a the minus side minus goes to the ring okay the other minus side minus to the spring it's already started let's disable it okay now let's put the cover back that's it it has no screw to power it on simply push this one to the right now it's blinking because the other battery is not yet connected so the battery is inserted to charge it simply connect the battery to the charger take a look at this line here that line has to enter there push it in and plug this in into a USB port on the computer okay so that's the charging charging insert the battery into the battery compartment so down below there so here on the right side near the connector let's introduce the battery with the logo up this JJRC logo push it in wiggle it a little bit okay and the cable has this line and that line is there on the right side so push it in that way and that's the quadcopter blue is the front 
and red is the back so this is the front and that's the back now let's bind the quadcopter to the radio first of all let's power on the radio push this button to the right okay this one is blinking that one is blinking so they are not connected together so to connect it to bind it this one to that move the left stick up and down up and down there was a beep and the blinking stopped so they are bound they are bound together now let's try to calibrate it it says gyroscope collaboration okay so that's the calibration and that is done by pushing the right stick down to the left so hold down this stick down and left I think it's ready so that was the calibration okay operation and control so we have the two joysticks and the left joystick is is making the quadcopter ascend or descend now you can do the trimming so if it's constantly going forward then pull it a little bit back with this one if it's constantly coming towards you then push it away a little bit until it stops moving forward or backward okay if it goes to the right just when you rise it up then pull it back to the left if it's going by itself to the left then pull it back a little bit to the right of course you have to do this when the quadcopter is let's say at around one meter in the air now it's flying pretty well now it's coming backward a little bit come closer now it's going forward so let's come back okay now let's try to do some flips 360 degrees flip all you have to do is press and hold down the right top button and then move the right joystick in any of the directions up down or left right so you have to raise it up in the air then hold down this one and let's say to the right and then release it or hold down the right button and to the left hold it down and down or hold it down and up and depending on the direction that you pushed let's say if you press this one and push it up then the quadcopter should flip this way to the front if you pushed it to the right then it should flip this way to the right and so on push it to the left and it will flip back to the left okay so let's try it this has to be done up in the air so up in the air hold down <laughs> at this low height I was able to do a flip so you have to do this outside not low to the ground like I'm doing it here okay now we have the headless mode so to enter headless mode press this button and then it starts blinking okay and now if I go up it went forward now it came back but if I position it that way now it's facing towards me and if I push this one up then it will go forward if I pull it back then it will come towards me okay so let's take it out from headless mode using the same button now it's not blinking at all so that was the headless mode of course when you're using the headless mode then don't change your position because it will remember the initial position and it will mess up the directions so in headless mode stay in one place okay now let's talk about the one key return function one key return is this one on the left side this one so now it's in the normal mode so if I raise the stick up then it will go up okay but if I enter one key return mode by pressing this key like so then if I increase the throttle then it will always come towards me as you can see it's coming towards me just by increasing the throttle and I can change the direction also 
Now it's facing with the left side towards me, but it's still coming towards me. Now it's facing with the front towards me, and it's coming towards me. Right side, and it's still coming. Okay, so to exit from this wonky return mode, we have to press the top left button and the right joystick forward. So currently, it's coming towards me. Now press this one, hold it down, and this one forward. And now it's not blinking anymore. So now it's not in wonky return mode. And when I increase the throttle, then it should go up. Yep, it's going up. It's not coming towards me anymore. Okay, so now let's take a look at replacement of propellers. In this case, this propeller is just a little bit bent. That's not causing any trouble, but let's try to replace it. Just with the hands, you might bend it. So I will use a screwdriver and push it off. Okay, so that's the motor. That's the tiny motor of this quadcopter. Okay, and here on the back we can see that even the wires are different. So this is black and white. And here in the diagonal, the other one is black and white also. This one is red and blue. And that one is using red and blue cables also. So let's take a look at this propeller. This one, in order to push the air down, it has to move to the left. So let's take a propeller which spins in the same direction like this one and there's a tiny hole and just push it on. There's a tiny particle there, clean it off and insert it into that small hole and push it down. That's it. The propeller should spin freely and now it's not spinning freely. So nothing is stopping it on the sides. So let's see, the motor is too low. Push it higher a little bit. Now it's somewhat better, but it's, there is still some friction. Okay, so I slightly deformed it. And now all of them are turning freely. And it should work also. Yep. When the blue and the red LED is flashing together, then the battery is getting low and soon it will not fly. And that's it. You have to recharge the battery or replace it. Now it's blinking faster because it's not bound. Now it's bound but the battery is low.